Hi and welcome to the 9th JCU Library Top Tips video. Previously we've learned about using OneSearch, finding specialised databases and using Google Scholar. Now we will look at how to evaluate what we've found. It is important to consider how useful or appropriate the information we have found is for the assignment. We need to evaluate the results to ensure we're using reputable sources. You can find some useful checklists on how to evaluate on the Evaluating Sources stop on the InfoSkills road trip. You can find it by going to the Subject LibGuide's webpage and selecting InfoSkills road trip. Ask questions like who wrote it, when it was written, where it was published, whether it is a recent edition and why it was written. We need to evaluate all our sources as some are better quality than others. One thing to consider is that we should concentrate on sources that are scholarly and if possible peer reviewed. Peer reviewed articles have been reviewed by experts in that field and so are more reliable than some other sources. Many of our databases allow us to limit to these types of sources. For example in OneSearch Choose the scholarly and peer review link in the left column to limit our results to peer reviewed articles. Note that using this link will exclude most if not all books from our results because the term peer reviewed usually only applies to journal articles. However, books are still important sources of information and you should be using them unless you have been told not to. Other ways to check the quality of the sources you are using is to ask a librarian, lecturer or tutor who will have experience in your field and be able to tell you if it is known as being reliable. If you need any help, please get in touch. To find out how, click on Get Help on the Library homepage. You can use Library FAQs to answer some common questions. Use the chat service during library opening hours. Use the Info Help contact form or phone the library for more assistance. Next we will discuss referencing and plagiarism.